So it's a great way to rebound after a tough loss yesterday. Talk about you know your thoughts on today's game. Um, today it started off slow, but we picked it up right away, which is what we always say that we want to do. If somebody comes out hard the first game, you have to come out even stronger the second, and it's a game of momentum. So as long as we kept playing hard and had the momentum on our side, we knew that we'd come out with a win. Talking about momentum, it seemed like the crowd really got helped you guys out with getting that momentum. They're very loud, very boisterous. Talk about what you think about, you know. I mean, it's great because we've been here four, or I've been here four years along with a lot of the other girls on the team. And just last year is when the crowd really started getting into it. And we just appreciate it so much because it adds a different element to the game and keeps everybody up and fired up on the court. You guys had a great defensive game, you know, anchored by yourself, of course, 30 digs again. Um, and then also Teresa, Bethany, and Laura also had 10 digs apiece. Talk about how important that is to, you know, for the transition game leading to the offense. Well, that's exactly what we want to run the ball fast. And in order to do that, we have to get ups on our side. And it's nice knowing that if I'm not there for a ball, I have a person either on my left or my right who's going to pick up the slack where I'm not there. And lastly, like I asked Coach, next weekend it's another, going to be another battle. You have Ryder and Fairfield coming in here. Talk about what you're looking forward to there. Um, we're just hoping to go in even keeled again and make sure that we play our game. Yesterday was a little rough, but we're definitely past that, and we just need to stay focused and keep the pressure on the other team, and good things will come in our favor. All right, good luck. So, Alicia, you know, you had a great match today, 14 kills, and, you know, it was a great rebound effort for you guys today after a tough loss yesterday. Talk about your thoughts on the weekend, your first weekend here at home. Um, well, we knew it was going to be a big weekend because it was the first home game, so we were all excited. Yesterday didn't go as well as we thought it would. I don't think we were mentally ready, so it was kind of tough, but we came back today and we really wanted to win, so we fought really hard and it showed. What were your thoughts on the crowd and how boisterous they were and how loud they were, especially, you know, when you get a kill and you went on a run there, you had about five or six straight kills. Yeah, it's really, um, it pumps us up when the crowd is pumped up, so we just, I, th I feel like once you get a kill and, and you feel the crowd's reaction, you just want to push more and you want to do better. And, and it's really, the home advantage is certainly there. When you look at your team as a whole, you have six seniors in the rotation and then, you know, the two youngsters on the left side with, with you and Teresa. Uh, talk about how you guys are working together and, you know, and has, how the team's working and the rotation with the seniors, you know, kind of helping you guys along. Well, the seniors really have been helpful. They're there for moral support and physical support. They're always there. When we make a mistake, they're always there and telling us to pick our heads up. And they've been helping at practice, like giving us pointers and stuff. And I, I, it doesn't feel like they're so much older because they, they accept us and they don't, like, hold it against us that we're younger. Well, good luck. You guys did a Sorry. great job today. Good luck, and we'll talk Teresa, to you next great week. Great effort today after a tough loss yesterday. Personally, you had 17 kills and 10 digs for a double-double. Talk about how you guys were able to, you know, to rebound after that tough loss yesterday. Yeah, we realized yesterday that we were a lot better than we played, and we needed, we needed this win to bring our momentum up for, like, to continue the season. And we just thought we just needed to be positive and everything because we know we have all the, all the skill in the world to beat Manhattan. After this weekend, you start off, you lost the first four sets. And then, you know, halfway, you know, a little bit into the second set of this game, all of a sudden the crowd just kind of started getting getting on everything that was going on. It kind of seemed to fire you guys up a little bit. Talk about how, you know, that worked and if you guys heard it and, and what, what, what that was yeah, all about. Yeah, it was great. Like, I love a big crowd. They really pumped me up. And I thought that we all kind of worked together, the crowd and us on the, on the court, like, to beat them. You know, they all helped us, and we just took that and used it. So. So you're back on track now, 3-1 and one in the MAC. What can you take from today's game that you guys did successful that you can work into next weekend when you're hosting two more tough teams in Ryder and Fairfield? Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, well, we're going to work on minimizing our errors. We had a couple service errors and hitting errors. And, you know, me personally, I'm going to work on my um, serve receive. And we're just going to work on minimizing our errors and keep, on, keep the pressure. Because once we have our confidence and once we're serving great and everything's flowing, we're, we can be anybody. Well, good luck, and we'll talk to you next weekend. Thank you.